Okay, so this is how the loading coil turned out. You can see how it's uh, supposed to be mounted on a pole. Here we have an alligator clip used for shorting out unused turns of the coil and to tune it to resonance. Here we connect the vertical portion of the antenna and here we connect our ground radials. Okay, and uh, this design, I, uh, I was inspired by this one, which I printed a few weeks ago. But I felt that uh, this design could use some adjustments because uh, we have lots of overhang and we have, uh, it's, it's unnecessary big. So I made this design so that we don't have to print as many support structures and uh, reduce the amount of filament that gets used in each coil. So now we're gonna cut, cut ourselves some wire and uh, set this up as a vertical antenna for 40 meters and tune it using this coil and we'll see if we can push a kilowatt through this. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we have the antenna connected up to the K3, and right now we are running 100 watts at the moment. So now let's uh, up the power a bit and see what happens. So let's tune up. You can see we're using a 2500 watt slug. At key down we are at around 900 watts into the little 3D printed loading coil. So it seems stable, no degradation, and we are steadily at 900 watts. So let's see if we can get some QSOs. Sugar Alpha 2, Charlie, Lima, Charlie. Sugar Alpha 2, Charlie, Lima, Charlie, is that okay? Thanks for the 5 and 9, it's a 5 and 9, best of the piece, thank you. Thank you, bye. So there you go, a demonstration of a fairly simple antenna. As always, if there's any questions, let me know down below and I'll try to answer them at my best ability. Okay, thank you for watching and see you again.